Morning everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. I just thought I'd come outside, um, it's a nice day, it's uh, Sunday the 3rd of November, um, not too cold, no wind, sun was out earlier, um, and I just thought now that the leaves have fallen off my main fig tree, which is a Rouge de Bordeaux, that I would just show, come in and show the figs that are remaining on the tree. Now for people who are in growing warmer climates, those would be what they call main crop figs but because of our cooler climate here in our shorter summer they never actually make it to maturity unless you've got a freakishly hot year so basically once a tree starts to go into dormancy in September the sap gets cut off from the figs and they don't make it to a ripening stage but what I can also shout now the leaves have fallen off which you should be able to see let's see if I can get it to focus never wants to focus when you're looking at things close well not to worry um, basically what you've got here on the old stems there uh, there are two buds showing on that stem there now one of those will be a growth bud for next year and one of them is the embryo fig that gives us what we call the braber crop in this country um, most of the uh, stems can't see on that one most of the stems the brabus form on the end of this summer's new growth so what happens is you get these little embryo figs that sit in the uh, that sit where the leaf leaves were joined which is where buds form as well and because they're so small they don't have the sap cut off to them in the same way and they overwinter and then hopefully they're the ones that start developing very early in the next season which would be they'll start developing in May and they probably take about three months to get to an edible size if I walk down we can have a look at them and some of the other figs as well it's always a shame when you live in a colder, cli colder climate that you get so many figs on a plant like this one which unfortunately just don't make it to maturity. These were these were quite a bit larger for Doan, but they're at, although they're green looking, the plant's dropped its all its leaves and the figs are absolutely like rocks, so completely inedible. Um, this is a very young plant anyway to have so many figs on it. But <clears throat> basically the at the tips of this year's growth you'll get um, you get these sort of double buds forming and one of them is normally a growth bud and the other one is normally an embryo fig. So um, provided we don't have a ridiculously cold winter because one thing we do have is relatively mild winters here although it's cold from sort of cold, coldish from November through to April um, we really only get, I probably only get three or four frosts a month here in this part of the UK and it really gets below about minus one or minus two centigrade which is about probably about 27 28 fahrenheit so therefore we don't lose those embryo figs and they will give us hopefully the fruits next year but obviously we'll have to wait and see what happens anyway i just thought to do a short fig video now the leaves have dropped it's easy to see the embryo figs on the stems and that's for people growing in a cold climate where we don't get those really hot summers that you're doing a lot of the uh, main US states, um, although you get very cold winters you also get very hot summers and that allows the figs to develop much quicker. <clears throat> but um, short video on figs, thanks for watching, welcome to like, share, subscribe, hit the bell if you want any future notifications and obviously won't be so many videos to come in winter because of the weather and I'll catch up with you in the next video. Brett out, thanks a lot, bye.